Uh, how's it going today there, YouTube? Well, I've been putting this video off for quite some time, but, uh, I've had several requests to do another tour of my farm toy collection here, but, uh, I wanted to wait till I got close to the one year mark, and well, since last year's video went up on, uh, February 14th, oh, that's Valentine's. Oh, well, Farmers are red, New Hollands are blue, Johnny's are green, others are too, hey! Anyway, let's, uh, get right into it here, we'll start off with the uh... this shelf is of course as my subscribers know this is the greatest farm toy collection youtube shelf this is uh... collection i started uh, a couple months ago out of fan mail if you guys wanted to send something in to be featured in my tractor collection get yourself a big shout out for youtube of course the description the p.o box description is in the description box down below so after the greatest farm toy collection on youtube shelf we have our red power equipment here we got the uh, mccormick deering farmall that's an f20 precision some internationals i have down here a 560 farmall precision of course getting into the uh golden demonstrators here i need to find a 1456 to complete that and i know there's a Precision gold demonstrator chasing it, that's out, but that's big money. Uh, I got a National Farm Time Museum 1086 that I picked up at uh, Christmas time there. This is a Toy Tractor Times 1066, Toy Tractor Times 7140 KSIH Magnum. The 370 is sitting over here just for now, so I'm gonna have to switch some stuff up around here and get some more room. Of course, the ever famous glass cabinets here I've got. This is uh, I think there's over 300 164 scale pieces in here by themselves. Let's start off over here you got John Deere here, the four wheel drives. You got the first toy farmer 7520 there. The 8850 or 8650 I can't remember the model designation. I can't read it right now. I think it's 8650. You got the uh, 9570 Farm Show 9RX We've got uh, the row the row crops, and so we've got sound guards right up from the uh, the smallest one here is a forty-two thirty, all up to a eight three seventy R. Down here we've got two cylinders and uh, tens and twenty series. I've got almost one of every John Deere two cylinder tractor they made, except for. Uh, the AR, the BR, I gotta find a GP, and then of course anything else that I want, I gotta build. Combines, sprayers, choppers, wind rowers, other pieces of equipment down there. This is the case combines, four wheel drive, Steigers, row crops, you know, the 450 International there, up to the 380 uh, Magnum in the back there. We have, of course, the uh, chrome chase unit that I got. It's a 2016 Farm Show edition. I may as well pick up the regular version because they're kind of nice to have too with the black hood. But the chrome chase unit, I just, got, happened, just happened to get that by luck of the draw. Have the uh, Steiger set. We have the uh, gold anniversary set of the Steiger and the Magnum tractors. Have the five millionth case IH or sorry international 1086. Then we have some farmall tractors, a case, older case tractors, a couple toy farmer four wheel drives in the back there. And then we have some the international titans back there. Well, international bot titan rather. Sorry, we've got one case steam engine. I know there's one they made with a canopy on. I might try to find that. Then we've got some case equipment down here. New Holland down here. Of course, all of our tractors here. And they've got uh, the 3060 heart par. The uh, 1836 heart par there. This next one here, uh, you'll never find anywhere else. I built the 164 scale model of my cock shot heart par 1828. 80 standard, of course. The 80 row crop, you guys see me do. Of course, the uh, 88 old style is in progress. The 1755 I'm working on right now is on the kitchen table still got cock shot here Alice Chalmers white Massey co-op Minneapolis Moline other various equipment down here we got uh, the H&S collectible wagons 
or sorry, collector's edition wagons here. Got versatile, uh, right 750 earthquake, Gleaner S88 combine, a 52550 big bud, and a Cat Challenger outlaw. That was a chase unit. We got trucks down here, DCP semi, uh, the Silverado I built, and a couple other trucks I built. Got some John Deere Precisions here, 4450 of course. Don't forget to check out One Lonely Farmer on YouTube. Excellent, excellent, excellent YouTube channel. Come down here, 4960, John Deere B, John Deere A, 70, 720, 730, 140 lawn tractor. Got a pair of 4020s and a 40, er, sorry, a 2510. And of course here, I'll take a step back, see if I can get the whole shelf into one picture here. We of course have the 160 or 116th scale. I can't talk today apparently. 116th scale Oliver tractors. So we've got the heart part number three, and Oliver heart part 2844. Come down the line, you got fleet lines, you got three digit series, checkerboards, I've got of course the 1955 Toy Tractor Times edition for 20, or 2015. I'm looking to get the 1855 Chase unit, that was the 2016 uh, Chase unit for last year, but uh, they're pretty expensive right now, and I think they're going to get worse, there's only 300 of them that the Toy Tractor Times put out. Got 116th John Deere here. Got a couple sets here. I need to find set number four for the agriculture set. The set number three was industrials of the 164 scale uh, 330s and 430s, but I don't really collect the construction equipment too much. I collect uh, agriculture. Got a gas engine in the back there, a Vindex John Deere D, that was my grandpa's. Then basically everything from the D, the uh, general purpose up to the John Deere B, B, N, A, G and get up into the styled stuff but even in 116 I've got pretty much one of every major unit that was in 116 scale as a, as a John Deere 2 cylinder got their 40, I'm missing a 50 but I got a 60, 70, 80 and there's a few in the 20 series I'm missing that there's a Yoder 730 diesel, Wheatland diesel, 830 John Deere. Of course, down here we've got cab jobs. This is where the 5020 is going to go and get the parts for the 5020. You guys are kind of keeping tuned for that. I know a lot of you guys are waiting for me to finish that up. I'm actually going to try to find me an 8400 casting or an 8000 series casting and I'll put that together because I'd like to get one of those. I'd like to build a 7810 in 116th scale so there's stuff coming. There's a lot of little gaps in my lineup I'd like to fill up. I forgot to do on top of my cabinets when I was uh, doing my cabinet review there of course I've got 1570 case precision elite in the back there. I've got case tractors 116th I've got Alice Chalmers 116 here. I've got a couple Minneapolis Molines, which I'm looking for more Minneapolis Molines, but I know a lot of them are custom and they're hard to find and they're expensive. I got Massey Harris here. I've got a, and a couple of uh, Fords here, 9 in Ford and 8 in Ford, and the 8340. Anyway, that's my 2017 tour of my tractor collection here. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed that. Of course, I'm adding to it all the time. Or if you guys are interested in adding something to the collection, the greatest farm toy collection on YouTube. I know there's stuff coming in the mail. The P.O. Box description is in the description box down below. If you're interested in sending something in, I'll give you a big, big shout out. Anyway, thank you everybody for watching my YouTube channel over the years. The very first video I ever put on my channel was a collection update. So maybe I'll throw a link to that video in this one. And that way you guys can kind of compare how things have grown in the last 3-4 years since I've been doing YouTube. Anyway. Please comment, rate, and subscribe if you enjoyed the video.